Superman mode, 348 passing yards, play of the year, four touchdowns, 55 yards rushing, another win over Joe Burrow. Uh, Derrick Henry breaks this big run in overtime to basically seal the game. Here's Derrick Henry on Lamar. That was like a uh, third MVP of, uh, level for him. Um, that was that was like a yeah that one of a kind of game. Just especially the one where he was he was getting sacked, got out the pocket, uh, kept running down. I was out of bounds, threw that ball back to Zay. That was just, you know, that's why Lamar is who Lamar is and the best player in the league. He, he He's a GOAT for a reason. Okay. Now, again, GOAT is thrown around. That, I was Especially, say, Derek he throws said, the and GOAT he around said around A. Around. He didn't say the GOAT. He, he said, said, he said, said he's a GOAT. A goat. If and you're born Justin in 1990, goat, so. yeah, well, well, he might actually be the GOAT well, kicker, but yeah, just go keep ahead. making him 50 yards. Yeah, I don't know, Vinatieri is a GOAT. I'll put him in a GOAT. Yeah, sure. Uh, reaction. <laughs> well, to the win, to his to, well, what, I don't, to I, what Derek, what Derek, Derek Henry was talking about. about Le, look, Lamar is playing fantastic. Like I think he's throwing the ball. I know the statistics don't necessarily bear it out. This is isn't his highest completion percentage or highest passer rating. That was his second year winner MVP, but he's throwing the ball. Terrifically, like they're playing. Maybe it's because he doesn't have all the pressure of running it better than anybody else. Although they've always had a good run game, um, but <clears throat> I, I think he's playing well. And I entered this season, and I think you agree with me, Nick. Like Lamar was. Everybody else had a head start in the MVP race. Here we go. Because he's won two already, hasn't been good in the playoffs, hasn't gotten to a Super Bowl. Yeah, we it's like it. he's not going to win it a third time. But look at his numbers compared to last year when he won MVP. His numbers this year are better in everything, but markedly better outside of completion percentage. Passer rating's much better. He's running for 20 more yards a game and passing for more yards a game. The in, he's got nine touchdowns, one interception. I still think it's going to be challenging for him to win his third MVP this year. However, if it is a season, and so far, all of the usual suspects, Mahomes, Josh Allen, Burrow, they're not in the conversation right now. And then you got Darnold, who kind of went yeah, a Jayden, little bit pumped in rookie. Jayden, who's a rookie. Like, yeah. right now, he's make, putting himself in the conversation. It's going to have to – nobody else is going to have to have a great year on a winning – a great team for him to win it. But he's playing some of his best football. Yeah, I think what would have helped is if he would have got it done against Patrick Mahomes week one. Because that's going to be up. You beat Josh Allen, who everybody was talking about. Oh, he's playing MVP level, and he played better in that game. And you look at the way he played against Joe Burrow. You've been on this about Joe Burrow gets more uh, praised than forever, well, and, and Lamar gets slighted, and he outdueled Burrow. Burrow had a great game, but Lamar outdueled him. He got the win. Dude, well, like, you're a quarterback's matters, wins you know, guy. Generally. Look, I, Lamar Jackson right now, because I believe they they found their identity. They know they're going to run the football with Derrick Henry. He can he can be this freelance quarterback that can make those throws across the body like Josh Allen can. He can have the splash plays. And I think when you're trying to get an MVP and you've already won it, you got to have those exciting splash plays. Lamar is going to always be a highlight reel, and so he's going to always have a chance to be in this race. I think just the idea of him not getting it done in the postseason and not getting it done against Patrick Mahomes in week one is going to come back to bite him. Okay, so here's the thing. So this is the start of the show today. Yeah. I, I, you can verify if people aren't listening. I said it and I'll say it again. It was an A-plus game by Lamar. Mm -hmm. It was an MVP-level game by Lamar. That was a great game, okay? Uh-oh. Uh, well, no, here's the thing. This is the burden of being Mr. Consistency. Oh, here we go. And this, is, this will be the clip that gets shared by all the Raven social media accounts that I'm sure DM Wiles like, you really gave it to Nick today on Lamar Jackson. I it's like, like give him a thumbs up. Yeah, I know you do. <laughs> purple, um, purple. Because here's the thing. There has been some weird narrative shift, okay. and I have stayed put, and now it's as if I'm some hater. We all, after the AFC Championship game, were in agreement on a number of things about Lamar. First one was, he's probably going to be almost ineligible for MVP 
until he has a great playoff run. We talked about how the history of it, winning three, winning back-to-back, all of it. That's the first thing. Another thing we said was as no matter what he does Mm -hmm. this upcoming regular season, we will still have major questions and concerns going into the postseason Mm -hmm. because of the long history of it. I have stayed in that exact space. The world seemingly has been like, I know we said that in February. We didn't mean it. He's awesome and the best. Things pl- change. They, well, I mean, it, we're watching how, no, and it's not just him. No, it's that no one else no, has is no, having this terrific. Okay, season. but so, but then, but the, the, the other thing. So, suspect. no, I don't think things change as much as if we say. That, if you have questions about Lamar, they cannot be answered in the regular season. I don't think five games of regular season football should be able to answer them. The other thing that I do feel has totally changed and been just a red herring, just n- nonsense, is Lamar's been Lamar's unfairly maligned. He's not given enough love. Guys, he's won two MVPs. That's voted on by the media. Yeah. One of them was unanimous. Tom Brady, the year he was 16-0, was not a unanimous MVP. Peyton Manning, when he had 5,500 yards, 55 touchdowns, was not a unanimous MVP. Lamar was unanimous four, four years ago and won vote from being unanimous last year. He, he is not unfairly maligned by the media. I agree with He's, you on that. And I, your point that his numbers this year are better than last year is true. But what's also true is this. Put Lamar's numbers last year up against the last 20 league MVPs and say which one of these kind of looks like the Steve Nash MVP one year where the numbers aren't what they're supposed to be because people love him. And last year, that team was was the best thing about that team was its defense, the the best thing, Mm -hmm. and Lamar won league MVP. And so I just, I don't, I don't under, I I feel like people are, are, I hate to use the term, gaslighting Uh. about the Lamar Jackson conversation. He's the reigning league MVP who the only question people have about him is, is he going to have his worst game of the year in the playoffs as he has had every year of his career? I agree with you that he's not maligned by the media. Like you say, he's got two MVPs, which is voted by the media. And we all will question him going into the playoffs, include me. Like, I want to see you get it done. But are you – the? could he win MVP? It's going to be hard, but it also depends on what the other guys – if Mahomes keeps playing like this I, and Josh Allen is kind of moving himself out of the conversation and Burrow's not winning enough, like, I'm, I, I, you don't I, think it's no, possible? No, I don't I'm – not, I'm not saying it's not possible, and I don't even really care that much about the MVP race through five weeks. What I, what I care about is this idea that Lamar Jackson is disrespected. Which is, I know you believe, and I think a ton of people believe. Here's why. Here's why. If it's similar to how you feel, Patrick Mahomes is literally called the GOAT. And I'm not talking about Brady, but anytime somebody pops up and says something about Josh Allen, you view that as a slight against Mahomes. So the only thing that I think what set everybody off is, and Dusty, can you show my Lamar versus Burrow graphic? That if that these guys are viewed, and they both played a great game yesterday, but these guys are viewed on the same exact plane. Even and I don't know if there's any other rivalry where one guy dominates the other guy, where it's like, you know what? Great rivalry. If this was Mahomes versus and Mahomes has well, a record LeBron, like yeah, this. Yeah, against LeBron. We wouldn't be like, you know what? It's yeah. Mahomes yeah. and, you know, Gardner yeah. Minshew. They go head to no, head. They yeah, I, can, I can tell you, I, I, I think, and Greg, tell me if you agree. I think I can tell you. I think people, at least, I have no problem wrapping my mind around this thought. When the Ravens and Bengals play each other and both teams have their starting quarterbacks, Lamar wins. And Lamar plays great. Burrow, it looks like from those numbers, plays pretty great too, but he loses. That is true. And if they were to play any time in September, October, November, or December, Lamar's probably a smart bet, even though I thought Cincinnati was going to win yesterday. But the guy on the right, if I have to win a playoff game, if I have to have good quarterbacking in the playoffs, I pick him, and that has a massive – it's it's the same if they thing. play each other That's, in the playoffs. But it, what Nick's but, saying is he's he's spot on. It's what we do it to Dak Prescott. carries so much weight. Do, how you perform in the postseason. I just don't. Th- do, do we think so do, much weight? Do we so, think well, that Joe Burrow's is, record in the playoffs we, last year? I, That's what I'm saying. It was the same but, as Lamar's the previous two years. 
He was out injured. And that's right, the other thing. You throw it at Burrow about the injury like Lamar didn't miss the last two so postseasons. Talking the last, last year, yes, last he year. gets hit for losing to a, a dynasty in the making. No. So they're uh, basically – no, the, he, Lamar is the second – the Ravens were the second best team last year. Maybe if they got to the Super Bowl, the Niners would have beaten them. But he crushed the Niners. No, but so because he lost to